two days later, alarm is off. You know the drill. Combat roll, headbutt, victory screech. Breakfast, shit posting, clothes. I'm pretty good at this. I think I finally found a pretty good routine for the rest of the year. I might have to go easy on the shit posting though. Yesterday I might have overindulged. But I succeeded in turning invisible. Not completely, but so far I'm happy. Even though the stupid stuff with Nazer seems settled, I could just cruise through schooling and shit posting in the evening. Perfection. Day four out of however many days left in the year. So far, so good. It's a bit of a walk, so I get out my phone and start posting on a shitty image board. Baiting people into replying to my posts isn't the most rewarding of hobbies, but it passes the time. Meteor dodgers. Having jobs. Pick one and only one. That ought to get a few. Just before I hit the reply button, I sense the air behind me turn warmer. A few wildflowers growing in the cracks of the sidewalk bloom in seconds. What? I am really confused. She's here. Good morning, Anon. Uh oh, it's 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 her cheery personality. It could have been. Naomi catches up to me. You say something? Good morning. I sort of feel like we're being overly harsh to her. Don't you walk with Nazer to school? Where is he? He went early today to help set up another student event. Oh, he's certainly someone you can count on for that. He really is. I'm so proud of him. Yeah. Um, Anon, have you seen our lovely award-winning school gardens yet? Gardens win awards? They do! Come on, I'll show you! I actually, wait, wait, I don't really want... They only grabs my hand, and when I come to, we're already there. Oh, this actually looks pretty nice. And here they are, our school's flower beds. Aren't they just magnificent? Please stop dragging me by the hand. You dinos don't know how strong you are. She is right, though. The gardens here are absolutely stunning. And I will love to see stuff like this at my school. I can't tell what's more colorful. The bushes of the flowers? The bushes of flowers or the students that tend to them. It's just like a big, massive pile of Skittles all over the place. Yeah, the gardeners here do a great job. Hmm? Oh, yeah, you can thank the gardening club for that. Naomi guides me through the gardens, occasionally giving tour trivia. I can't shake the feeling something's on her mind, though. And here's where the freshmen planted flower seeds at the start of the school year. By the end, they'll bloom wonderfully. And then the... Uh... What's going on here? Is, is, is she coming on to me? I want to ask if she's upset about something, but he, is that even right of me to do? I mean, she's like the one for- I mean, we should ask what's up, right? She's helped us enough. We could lend an ear. That's the only thing we have on our head. Are you alright? Hmm? Something's bothering you, right? Not really. A bit, I, I guess. I've just been worried about Nazer recently. Is something wrong with him? No, nothing's wrong. It's more that he worries a bit too much for that sister of his. Oftentimes when I'm with him, he's anxious about something she's done. I just like him to relax about it a bit more, I suppose. Is that selfish of me to say? I mean, well, it, it's his sister. Yep. Yeah, okay. If he's the older one, he—it's understandable he'd be concerned with her. It's, it's 
especially with the anti-bullying stuff, and it seems like his, his, the uh, sister doesn't get along well in school with other people, judging by that concert. I've never had a girlfriend, but I imagine that I'd be a bit inconsiderate to constantly be worried in front of her. I, I, I don't know. Naomi nods her head a bit, staring at her shoes. Sorry, I, I just wanted to share with someone. Guess I ended up doing the same thing I'm complaining about here, huh? Uh, don't sweat it. Can dinosaurs sweat it? I don't know, just don't sweat it. She checks her phone and jumps a bit. Oh, I'm going to be late! I still need to check in at the front desk. Really sorry, Anon, but the tour will have to end here. Uh, it was fine. Hopefully it just doesn't make my allergies flare. You know, they get really terrible when you don't have face holes. She waves and runs off to a side door. I should be getting to homeroom soon, too. I push open the usual side entrance I take and enter the hallway that's starting to become familiar now. Still occasionally glancing at the room numbers just to make absolutely sure, I notice someone in the counter current walking past. It was one of the bass players from the concert two days ago. Dazer said she was his sister, right? Ah uh, yeah, this is the idiot that was playing bass instead of guitar. Glancing at her for a moment, the expression on her face sort of reminds me of something. It was probably just leftover embarrassment from the concert, but she seemed to have a lost look on her face. Or maybe it was confusion. Or a mix of the two? Either way, there's something on her mind. I can't help but think that's how I must have looked on my first day. But it was my first day of school. She had to be going here all year. What's her excuse then? Either way, it doesn't look like she recognizes me. Objective one out of whatever of the current year is accomplished then. Next one is memorizing the class schedule. One of the worst parts. And that says it's homeroom in 15 minutes. Homeroom, which I share with Naomi. Ugh. She's just too sweet and, like, obnoxious. Ugh, I can't find a way to put it, but she feels so movie-like. Like an act. Oh, what's the thing? Like, uh, like, like Stepford Wives. There we go. Day four, Don. Day four. What the hell? Why, why is she scratching herself? Wait. Is, is she a junkie? Is, is that... Oh god, don't come to me closer! <laughs> Wait, is, is, is that... Huh. I... I don't know, so... Yeah. I, I, I'm not... I'm not... We're not gonna get... I'm not gonna get into that sort of topic. I have no idea about any of that stuff. <laughs> I don't want to get shanked by a junkie pterodactyl! You, uh, skinny. Yeah? I don't I don't think I'm gonna do a voice for her, I don't think. I mean, I I know since it's called Snoop Game and off the game page, it's all about Fang. I'm not doing a voice, because I, I, I don't want to do a big voice for that long. Did you see there where they went? I'm not probably gonna end up falling into a voice. The group with the, uh, uh... Dinosaurs? No. Yellow hoodie. Red hair. Pink tail. And hair buns. Are you describing one person? What? No. It's multiple. They're dinosaurs, though, right? What? I, I, I don't know where they went. What, who, are you, who are you talking about? Ugh. Just like that, she's gone. I seem to have this effect on women. I call them poison pheromones. But it is relieving that she didn't recognize me. Guess Nazer didn't tell her. The staccato of the bell signals my tardiness for class. Now that is a million dollar word right there. My class with Naomi. If there is a Jurassic God, please make Naomi miss homeroom today. 
I'll even offer a goat sacrifice. The day passes uneventfully until fourth period. Science class. I find a seat near the back of the room. I watch the clock hands tick down the remaining few seconds to the bell. Right before the tone, one last student rushes in, out of breath. Oh, it's that girl again. I guess we shared a period or two on the first day, and I just didn't notice. She strides across the room, taking her seat without a word. Strangely, nobody seems to acknowledge her, not even a sneer or a chuckle. That's odd. Given how many people were there that night, you expect at least a couple of snickers. Oh, it's Fang. How would you not notice her? When we walked to the steps, you were like, hey, she's the only one not technicolored. But there she was, being completely left alone. Or ignored. Seems almost worse than getting laughed at. The lingering chatter in the room dies out as the teacher stands from his desk, moving to the front of the room. Good news, everyone! Dr. Fernsworth. <laughs> oh, I love it. Today we'll be having a lab on magnetic fields. Find a partner and get prepared. <laughs> my heart sunk as those treaded words passed my ears. God, final boss music kicks in. Panic. Find a partner. I know it's pointless. But I at least have to try. Maybe someone was out sick. With my luck, though, I'll probably just end up with that fossil of a teacher. Is that... Do, do people get pity partnered with a teacher? I've never had that happen with a class. Like, I've never even seen that happen in a class. With everyone else starting on the assignment, I resign myself to working twice as hard. Hurry up, Mr. Anon. Your partner is waiting for you. What? Very well, a fang. If you would be so kind to sit next to your new partner. I sat in momentary confusion as someone took the seat next to mine. Spaghetti alert, spaghetti alert. Defcon level two. There is a femoid within arm distance looking at me. Deploy all spaghetti lockdown measures. Sup? Th thanks, y you too. Shit! Recovery maneuvers, now! I, I, I mean, hey, not much. You? Chad, recovery successful. Oh god, my ears are going again. Oh, thank god. None of your business. Just do the damn assignment and don't bother me. Uh, uh, oh, oh. You, you upset right now or something? What was your first fucking clue? Last time I'll say it. Just do the assignment and don't bother me. Okay. Gotta keep cool headed. So this assignment then. With that, we open our books and start on trying to decipher who Lawrence is and why his force is magnetic. Things are go- Ah, oh, damn it. Now I feel stupid. I, I've, I've, I've learned this by carrying... I'm pretty sure the Lawrence is just the magnetic flow or flow of electricity that generates the magnetic field. And you got the whole right hand rule thing. God, I feel like an idiot. Oh, okay. Things are going well for the first few questions. I remember a bit of it from that one time I tried to make a rail gun. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right then. It's electricity into a magnetism. How are you two doing so far? I feel like I, I'm, I'm forgetting what Farnsworth sounds like. We're fine, Dr. Farnsworth. I see. And you, Anon. Yeah, what she said. Why is Dr. Farnsworth making that face? I turned to Fang to ask her what the deal is, and... Oh. Oh, dear. Mistakes have been made. She? Yes? Oh, Raptor Jesus Almighty, this is the absolute worst case scenario. I am 
non-binary. How was I supposed to know something so trivial would set something like this off? Well? Uh, I, I, I can't bring myself to say anything. Oh, oh, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Fang. You think you can just spit in my face and then, and then give me the cold shoulder? Oh gosh, she is, she is angry. I'll have you know. Fang. It feels like the world just stopped. All eyes are on. Uh, I, I feel really bad for her. I mean, that, that is a... That is embarrassment, like, uh, that's pure, like, condensed embarrassment. All eyes are on Fang. And in Fang's eyes, I see something flash briefly. Judging by those exaggerated movements and the eloquent speech, this is something Fang had been practicing. This is supposed to be a big moment where she stopped an evil bigot and the whole class would clap. In all her planning and practice, Fang had made one crucial error. Nobody cared. Please consider stepping into the hall for a moment. Shh. Fang is quick to exit the room. Dr. Fordsworth turns a sympathetic look towards me. Forgive them, Anon. You must understand that Fang is experiencing issues. What the fuck just happened? I'm saying that every class at this school every day. Well, uh, let's see. She blew up at me when I called her a she. She was already upset about something before. She, she was upset before because of the concert the other day. Looks like I just pushed her over the edge. Also, maybe probably whoever she was looking for that I kind of stubbed her off about. Or really just did not know and was confused. After a few moments, Fang comes back in and sits down without a word. Sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. Now that I think about it, something's off. You know, I was gonna say, I, I'm just noticing this. I like how they position the characters off to the side like they're actually sitting in the desks based off the background image i haven't played i haven't played many visual novels like i probably could count them on one hand but you know it's usually they put the character dead center in the screen or like two characters basically just slightly off center you know main focus i don't know if this position is potential or not but i i like that anyways now that i think about it something's off Fang claims not to be male or female, but the clothes she's wearing are clearly provocative. That or she's trying to push a fashion trend. It's almost like she's trying to show off her femininity. Then why? Why would be why would someone be wearing revealing clothes in contradiction to their identity? It's almost like they're just looking for a te uh, then suddenly it hits me. I recall memories of a slightly younger Anon running around school with the cape, pilot goggles, and three plastic katanas. Well, I mean, come on, it, it's cool, you know, I mean, three swords. That was a quick way to get sent to the principal's office. Are you even listening to me? I do what now? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I could tell. She mutters as she turns back to the assignment. Ah, you've been staring at me for the past five minutes, freak. Judging by the looks of the class, and both of our current social standing, we'll probably be working together a lot more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I should have known from your feminine appearance and dress that you are in fact non-binary. Uh, that, that, that's only gonna piss her off more. Let, let, let's just let's just do a normal apology. I'm sorry. 
non-binary people don't owe you androgyny. Doesn't seem like it's something she wants to hear right now. So, uh, you're Nay's her sister, correct? Sibling. Er, right, 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 sorry. There's a brief pause until Fang speaks up again. Yes, Nazar's my baby brother. Why do you ask? Oh, he's younger. Okay, now I can see Naomi's, uh... I, I, I mean, it's still family, but now I can see is a little more concerned of, like, why is he so worried? You know, she's the older one. I was just curious. Nazar has been helping me settle into the school. Now I'm starting to question how the name is pronounced. Nazar? Nazar? I'm gonna go with Nazar. That sounds... Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with Nazar. That sounds better. So, it sounds smoother. Nazar just has that hard, like, stop. Whereas uh, Nasser. I don't even remember what I just said. Nasser. There. We'll just go with Nasser because that's a flow smooth. It just, it just rolls off the tongue. Of course he did. Just wish he'd keep out my fucking business for two seconds. Uh, sh sure. Actually, thinking about Nazar. Damn it. It's more that he worries a, a bit too much for that sister of his. Oftentimes, when I'm with him, he's anxious about something she's done. He told me about what happened the other day. Sorry to hear something like that happen to you and your band. What do you care? Uh, don't know. Suddenly, my shoes seem more interesting than the conversation at hand. Just think it's messed up people go to a show just to laugh at you. <laughs> Guess you aren't that awful. I like every other guy in this school. God, she's gonna find out I was laughing at her, wasn't she? The rest of the period passed between continued small talk with Fang. She seemed to be controlling the conversation, though. When the bell rang, Fang whips out her phone and immediately starts tapping away. You go into your next class? Who cares about being late? Fair. See you then. She lazily waves a hand at me, and I make my way to my next class. Unfortunately, fifth period is mathematics. Ah, dino calcul- <laughs> what's, what's Carl doing here? I'm barely keeping myself awake. Well, Esther, Carlos do, do ski- Okay. Carly Sidus- why, why am I having trouble trying to figure out how this is pronounced? Carles, Car, Carlesi Duski is giving a lecture on the inverse of tangents. Is, is that actually his name? I haven't watched that much of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Adon! I sit ramrod straight at the director dress. Are you freaking listening? Come finish this freaking problem on the freaking board. Just one social disaster after another today. Hesitantly, I slide out of my chair and trundle my way to the whiteboard. This game is liking that word. Try to decipher the runes I'm expected to make sense of. Only I never made it to the whiteboard. Three rows down, and my foot, foot, my foot, my foot catches on a loose backpack strap in the aisle. Luckily, I fell sideways, and there was a cold hard desk in the way to catch my fall. Oof. Oh, oh, stupid kids always leaving the hall, the little spaces clogged up. <laughs> what is this music? To the chuckles of the rest of the class, I look up from my final resting place to see a massive pink and white muzzle. Dude. Oh, it's like Surfer. Where, where did we land? Like a deer caught in the... <laughs> I, I just can't get over the ska music with what, with what I assume happened. Like a deer caught in the headlights, I could only stare and wait for him to continue. 
You're on my desk, man. Oh, okay, we're just on the desk. Hopefully that's the only D we're on. My senses return to me, and I quickly get up, picking up and returning the pencil that flew to the floor in a flurry of apologies. Then I recognize just whose desk I fell on. It's that drummer in Fang's band. Don't I just have the luck of the devil? Giving one last apology, I head to the front of the room to solve the whiteboard problem. I tried solving the problem to the best of my ability. Still took a solid two minutes. After circling my answer, I look expectantly at Mr. Carlos Dewiski, who gives a nod. Finally, turning around to return to my seat, I freeze. Right there in the front row is the last member of the band, Trish. I stumble back to my desk. Mr. Carlis Duisky gives each row a stack of papers to pass back. Alright, here's the freaking homework covering today's lesson. Use page 279. I'll give you the last. 15 freaking minutes of class to work with your freaking peers. Mr. Carly. Carlos Duisky returns to his desk and pulls out a math book with a monthly romance novel crudely stuffed inside it, with very detailed centerfold with, with the way he turned it sideways. Looking ahead to Reed's desk, he's been joined by, Twi by Trish, who is trying to, get him trying to get him to get started. I think I can feel their eyes following me. Back on my desk, I glance over the math sheet. Page 279, right? Looks like I finally get to use that phone book of a math textbook. Where is it? I open my backpack, and instead of my math textbook, is the set the Saturina Collector's Edition art book I splurged on yesterday. I'm frozen. Can't move an inch. Did I grab the wrong book this morning? Is someone playing a sick joke? How could I bring this to school? Something bounces off my head and lands on my desk. It's enough to snap me back to reality and I shove my backpack under my desk, furiously zipping it. On my desk is a balled up wad of paper. Oh great, I was hoping to avoid these chain notes. I unfurl the ball to read the note. Look up. I look up and see the purple one waving me over. Fuck. Grabbing my stuff, I shuffle over slowly to the duo. Zup, compadre. Uh, Zup? See? He's my class partner, so I look out for him. How are you looking out for your class partner, Anon? Enforcing the social contract. Having good conduct and mutual respect so you can leave class and go on with your life. Wait, what? Yeah, wh what's this about? A certain friend of mine has partnered with you in science, right? Wait. Oh! You mean Fang? They just messaged me before class. Said they had to be partnered with a skinny bigot. Then proceeded to show them. I had a feeling you'd be him. I, I mean, I am kind of the only human here. It's, it's not that hard to tell who I am. Am I going to have to deal with humiliation from these meteor dodgers, too? <laughs> oh, my meteor dodgers. Oh, that's, that is great. My head is starting to hurt. Hopefully we can just start, get started on these math exercises. Yeah, that was me. I apologize, though. I know. And I appreciate it. I'm Trish, and this is Reed. We're Fang's best friends. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. What about you? Now you tell us about yourself. Red alert. There's no way I'm telling anyone, especially these people, if they find out where I was a few days ago. Uh, I I'm a non, and I'm a human. I got here Monday. That is all. We know that. We want to know where you're from. What have you been doing since you got here? If you have any friends. I, I, I'm doing nothing. I don't really care about friends. 
she doesn't look very convinced by that answer. Right. You know that Nazer dude, right? Hey, yeah, I saw you with that slut Naomi earlier too. Whoa, hold up, what? Is she jealous or is the, or was it really an act? Trish squints her eyes at me. The, they were my welcoming committee. They helped me with getting settled. Nothing besides that. Right. Didn't Nazer or Naomi invite you to anything? Or... Nope. I don't remember. I've been trying to get them off my back. But, uh... Why do you ask? We had a concert last week. Nazer and Naomi invited a whole bunch of assholes to ruin it. Suppose if we had seen a human in that crowd, we would remember, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm dead. I, I, I mean, concert? What concert? You, you guys play music? I, I don't think they invited me here to solve math problems. We have a band. I'm the lead bassist. Fang's the vocalist and secondary bass. And Reed is the drummer. And the songwriter. He just comes up with funny song titles. Ah, oh, that's very neat. Love to listen to your band someday. I drag my chair backwards and clumsily rise from my seat. It was great meeting you guys. I'll be going back to my desk, though. Wait, I'm not done with you yet. What? I, I, I really should get started on the homework. Uh, it's important. Look at me. She has a very serious look on her face. She's not saying anything. Glaring through the back of my skull makes me think she means business. Oh god, she's lining up to gouge out my eyes. Fang is happy. They found something about themselves they finally like, and I helped them through a dark time. They made up their mind. They? Th themself? No wonder Nasser seems so confused by this. They don't need people in their life that might hurt or confuse them. They have us, and the band. We're trying to make it for ourselves. Okay... I look out for them, because I care for them. They've been hurting because of those dicks. I'm, I'm doing my part in assuring them. Wait, was that what I saw her doing earlier? Looks more like one... Looks like... Looks more like a one trigger trig out. Oh, boy. I don't understand. My point is, don't upset Faye. I just wanted to solve math problems. I... Y yes, ma'am. Once again, she's just glaring at me. Fucking hell, my stupid legs stop shaking. I'll take this opportunity. Uh, thank you for the lesson, Trish. I'll keep that in mind. See ya. But wait, man. You want this? Reed holds out a sheet of paper. Wait, it's a copy of the homework assignment. A and it's complete? Wait, I thought I, I thought you were the one needing help. And the friend of my friends, who's the friend that helps me, is also my friend too. Okay. I, I, I don't think that's how the saying goes. You're sharp and odd, razor sharp, friends. The bell announces lunchtime, and the rest of the students collectively rise and start shuffling out the door. Lunch hour. Been a blast talking to you guys. I swiftly snatch up my backpack by my leg, flashing an earnest, sympathetic smile at them. Or at least I thought it was one. As I power walk out of the classroom, I swear I caught a glimpse of Reed waving goodbye. A shame I have other places to be, namely away from the pissed off midget. <laughs> Sorry man, you seem like a good guy, but with that tiny tyrant? Not in this lifetime. Man, it seems like we're making friends with the bros, but then they got a girl with them that we just can't tolerate. That was the worst fucking experience in a long while. I, almost as bad as actually dealing with Fang in class. Here, I was thinking I could be invisible for the rest of the year. And now I have classmates talking about me behind my back on their phones. Probably for the rest of the school year. 
At least it's the best period of the day now. Wonder what you get for lunch today. Wait. What's that smell? Oh no. I duck into a corner and rip the backpack open. What should have been my lunch card, binders, and horrendously embarrassing art book was instead half a dozen glass flasks, bags full of something, and all sorts of machinery I didn't recognize. Oh no, I grabbed an alchemist's bag. Someone. Someone else has my backpack. And that book. If they see. This backpack. It's from that Reed guy, I bet. When I rushed out of class. Oh, fuck me. On the other hand, I could get a Medal of Honor for turning all this stuff in. They could even get a bit of cash for recording stuff like this. No, 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 what, what, what am I thinking? Any amount of money is not worth my power level being revealed. I can't ruin my life. Not again. Wait, is that why we left our old school? Because someone found our an- See, I'm, gonna, I'm, just, I'm saying anime art book was my first thought, but I feel if it was a collector's edition, it, that's probably some hang time. Especially not with these losers. But half an hour until lunch period ends. Good. I need to find Reed. I have the need for Reed. I double back to the classroom I just left and find it empty. Fuck. Maybe he's getting his lunch now. Cafeteria, then. I sprint through the school hallways, already familiar with the layout, looking for the drug dealer. The colorful crowd in the lunch line makes it difficult to pick Reed out, so I have to carefully scan the room. I finally spot the pink raptor at the end of the queue, tray in hand, and incriminating evidence on his back. The world must be fucking with me, since I am the only one currently carrying a mini cartel in a backpack. Reed! The stoner drummer turns my way as I calmly as possible try to approach him. What up, my guy? I, uh... I give the backpack a bump, causing all the dubious glassware within to clink. I think you got my backpack, Reed. Huh. Was wondering why this felt lighter. He holds out my backpack to me. Here you go, man. We trade backpacks. I'm careful to hand his over while simultaneously examining mine that's still within his grasp. It doesn't look like he opened it at all, but... Thank fuck. Why are you so worried about the bag, man? Shit, fuck, 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 fuck. Cuz... Don't bring up the art book. Think you dumb fuck, there's gotta be something you can say. Naomi, I owe you a fruit basket. My lunch card. I wouldn't have been able to get my lunch without it. Oh, 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 fuck. Dude, I'm sorry to hear about that. What? New kid at school, and you need the lunch card? Do you, like, want to hang with us? You look like the lonely type, man. Fuck no. Nah, I'll be good. I just needed my... Come on, bro. I'll introduce you to the whole band. You, 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 you don't have to, really. You know, reward your good deed with a good deed. What? I'll, like, be your first friend, Anon. Man, this guy's a bro. I, I mean, he, I kind of assume a lot of stuff, but he, he's a bro. What? Yeah, man. I, I appreciate it, but, you know, you worried about Trish, bro? Yeah, she could be a bit rough. She's great! I, I, isn't she on a crusade to assault everyone that laughed at your concert? Uh, yeah, she, she does that sometimes. Don't worry about it. Huh. It's fine for you to be worried. You'll see. She, she's plenty nice. You no, know, maybe I was a bit quick to judge. See? There's Trish now. Hey, Reed. Sorry, gonna have to return that crowbar a bit later than I promised. Also, I got vengeance on another one of those jerks. 
those aren't related, right? Who's asking? I need to get out of here. Well, Reed, thank you for talking. I'll just be on my way. Hold on, man. Juice just got here. Reed, what's this all about? Not here, and I just had a little mix up. Anyways, he was a total bro about it. And he's like, super poor and stuff. Oh, come, come on. I thought you were a bro, man. How poor? You know that lunch cart thing they advertise on the school brochures? Bull. Show or not. I'd rather not. Oh, oh my goodness, you poor soul. Literally even. Okay, I get that was a perfect opportunity for a joke, but come on, man. So I figured, why not be a bro back to him? Like, uh, you know, I don't get the play. I, well, okay, I guess in this case, it's, you, you just pay the money back later. So I remember at, at, in school they had reduced lunch thing, and if you could get it, that was a that was a great deal. Essentially, you just pay a quarter for lunch instead of like the two dollars everyone else had to pay. So it's like, wow, I'm just saving money. Like, uh, he is legit welcoming committee. I appreciate the thought, but uh. I really should be going right about now. Bye. Oh, Faye, what took you so long today? Why, why, why me? Why? Dear Latcher Jesus, what did I do? Yo, what? What? Is that Don? What's he doing here? No, oh, it's the other human transfer student with the dress sense of Rex Luther. Wait, Rex Luther. Oh, okay, uh, uh, why did I think Lex Luthor was Lex Luthor? God, my brain is melting. Hey, Faye, good to see you again. Well, lunch is almost over, so oh, He's poor. Like, super poor. How poor? You know those lunch cards they have on the posters near the principal's office? Are you, are you guys making fun of me, or are we all poor? Is this like a help group or a laugh group? Wow, that's hilariously depressing. I hate everyone here. Anyway, that doesn't answer my question of why the skinny loser is here. Man, Anon's like a total bro, and I'm his first friend, and we're gonna be rock ring buddies for the rest of the school year. Okay, I'm gonna need more information on this rock ring thing. Then, like, he'll be my business partner and we'll sell enough goods to get half the country high and, like, fuck narcs and fuck the IRS. <laughs> you're, you're, are, have, have you smoked some of this stuff already, Reed? You're going on a major tangent. Uh, Trish. The morons swap backpacks now they're, like, best friends or something. Yeah, that. So, I'm gonna go grab my lunch now, so... We can all grab some together. Well, Reed is a judge gun. Good judge character. Is he? Did you already grab your lunch, Reed? Yeah, I want seconds, man. Wh what? I look at Reed's tray and see that it's completely empty. Wh when did you... How? Come on, man. I, I just got me in case of the munchies. I end up walking to get food with Trish, Reed, and Faye. I really don't have much room to move here. I'm part of the pack. Every time I consider ditching them, Reed says or does something to keep me with the band. Fuck my life. It's like the 20th time I've said this. I'm even to hold the makings of, of a conversation with Reed, but it feels like I'm talking to space. Trish was listening in while we made our way to the lunchroom, but was more focused on her talk with Faye. What do you mean my halter top is out right now? I haven't noticed a difference. I'm telling you, the next thing is gonna be leotards. No, fuck that. I would never wear something that retarded. As for Reed... So, you play video games, right? 
yeah, I, I got a couple of to a couple of consoles and a toaster of a PC. All the X rocks. Battle source is sick. <laughs> Pacquia Station. Pacquia Station has a better lineup overall. But like, stony games are all lame. Like, just movies lame. You can't prove that. I can't. Huh? Get your phone up, man. Look up LW underscore S9 C N P K. Is this a YouTube link? How did you say that out loud? Just look it up, man. What, what, what's the harm? Yeah, let's look up that link. Oh, oh, oh. It actually... <laughs> it just opens up the reveal trailer for Goodbye Volcano High. <laughs> uh, wow, comments on this video. They turned out the comments on... Was it... Was reception that? I know they deleted, the, like, the whole Steam comment section, like, three times. They purged that. Wow. There's no like or dislike bar either. Ah, oh, that's great. What on earth? Pretty hilarious, right? What is this? A shitty Netsticks cartoon knockoff? It's funny in a way, yeah. X-Rox is better anyways. You see the whole lineup they had prepared for. Reed delves into his rant about console differences. I thought he was just an airhead, but... I totally can't get a read on this guy. Ha! I get it. Reed! Well, anyways. The ledge lights aren't going to get any shorter. We should hurry and pick one. Once we all get our food, we all stand around chatting a bit more outside the line. Trish and Fang babble to each other about their daily activities all through the lunch line. Reed, on the other hand, had pulled out a tablet from his backpack to show me something. So, like, you know we got a band, yeah? Uh, yeah, Trish brought it up earlier and all. Check it. I've been recording our practices. Fang and Trish both look at me expectantly. Fuck shit, fuck, okay, okay, you can do this, but don't laugh. Cool, let me see. Even though the poor reco recording quality, I can see it here just how atrocious the band is. I, if this is supposed to be their music, it doesn't... I mean, recording quality aside, it doesn't sound that bad. I bite back the grimace threatening to come out as I give the video my full attention. Well? We're great, right Anon? It's, uh... Certainly original. It's interesting. There we go. See, that's the thing you say. Interesting. I know, right? But, like... Why two bases? Fang glances at me from the side. Weird. It's our style. I see. What do I say here? I can only give feedback on games I haven't played, not music. Oh, I, I don't know anything music related. Double tension on this G string, synchronization between the melody and the sub melody. Very nice, ironic to Beethoven's Fur Elise. That's the one I feel like I probably know the most, but that's just because I only have heard Beethoven before. I don't even know what song of his that is. I like the G string. No. Let's go. Yeah, we'll sound smart. They This will probably get them right. The three stop moving in line and look back at me. I think I messed up. How could you tell? Jeez, man, you got the ears of a bat? Uh, just something I picked up. 
I didn't know you knew about that sort of thing, Anon. Was that a thing? Yo, next time we have a concert, you gotta come along. Maybe. Trish glowers at me, wearing me. Oh no. Maybe if he ta actually talked about himself for once. Nope, not, nope, nope. Oh, no way. Abort. Abort. Yeah, man, go ahead. None of us are judging. I'm not, at least. What is this music? Got, like, some like, gospel stuff going. Well. Oh, all of them. Oh, fuck, sorry, no, uh, we got- we got a bail. Huh? huh? Where? They're already gone. Pretty impressive how fast they can move even with their hands full. It's not that impressive, you don't need your hands to run. But what could have made them run like that? A nod! Oh. I turn around and see Nacer and- Nazar and Naomi approaching, food in hand. I knew I'd find you here with the others, Adon. Shame they ran off. Why'd they do that? Her shrill, goody-goody, sugary voice is piercing through the chatter of the lunchroom. I don't want to reply if it means hearing more of her voice. Tell me, Anon, what were you and Faith talking about? I didn't know you were friends. I want to know every- I want to know about everything. Oh, help me God, I just can't catch a break. I just want to go home. My legs hurt. I just want to play video games. But there's still half a day to go. Hey, Nod, you, you seem kind of low energy. Are you alright? The Nod you were trying to reach is currently having an existen existential meltdown. Please leave your message after the scream. Ah, he's just thrilled to make new friends. Yeah, man, good on you. You're quite the extrovert. I'm mentally screaming. I swear, I just want to get out and never come back. Was that really my sibling you were hanging out with? Fang and her friends, yeah! Strange group, I know. I'll say. She- They're not that bad once you get to know them. Colorful folk, I know. Uh, no, I mean, they. Huh? Fang! Aha. Uh -huh. Sure hope so. Seems I've got to be her lab partner for the rest of the year. Whoa. Naomi pauses for a second. Honestly, they're just going through a phase, man. That phase include rants about nine binarism? Ugh, Fang hit you with that too. What a great opportunity for real friendship, Anon. I'm so happy for you. If there's anything Faith needs in these tried times, it's a new friend to talk to. Uh, I don't know about that. You know how they is, right? I would love if you tried. Nazer would appreciate it. Would he? Whoa, whoa. Calm down, boo. It's not how it works. And I don't think... The bell's loud round. Loud sound rings in our ears. On our ears. A rush of relief and dopamine overcome me. I'm free. Uh, we'll, we'll talk later, Anon. I'll have to keep my eye on you, though. Don't worry, Nasser. I know Anon is of good character. What is she talking about? You know what? It don't, it don't matter. None of this matters. Only useful thing I learned all day. Thank you, Carl. Uh... I guess I'll have to go now. See you around. Be a little nicer, Anon. Ask if you need anything. I'll help you out. Oh, no, it's too nice, Anon. Oh, I'll hold you down to that one. Just you wait. <laughs> ah, nice. Now you'll never get them off your back now. Congratulations. You dug your own grave. Hey, take it easy, man. Come, Nazer. We have a busy day today. Oh, sure. See ya.